Friday, August 21st, the Legacy Fighting Alliance will award its fifth championship belt in as many events. Welcome inside LFA. The promotion's welterweight strap is on the line at LFA 88 and live on UFC Fight Pass when the Brazilian bad boy, Vinicius de Jesus, makes his promotional debut against an LFA mainstay, Jaleel the Realist Willis, who will be entering the LFA octagon for a fifth time. Willis is 12-2 and, and will be looking for his fourth straight win against the 9-2 Brazilian and current CES MMA champion, de Jesus, who is on a four-fight win streak. Strap yourself in for this one. I will frustrate him in everywhere. I will outfight him in everywhere. And the wrestling aspect and the grappling aspect and the striking aspect, my level is way up high than he are. So there's no way he's going to be able to dominate me in any way, not even his wrestling background. My boxing is definitely more superior than his. You know, it's like I really don't care what he has to show for it, but I know for a fact that um I have a bunch of things that I haven't showed in the fights and it's like that I've been working on for years and that I feel is gonna come out within this trap right here because he's the perfect guy stylistically for me to open up like that. One of the young prospects to keep an eye on at LFA 88 is undefeated Israeli born fighter Natan Levy, who puts his spotless 4 0 record on the line against Colorado's Ben Lugo. Levy has black belts in both kung fu and karate and is already getting the UFC's attention. Meanwhile, Lugo is riding a four fight win streak, has back to back first round finishes, and his teammates with current LFA champion Justin Gonzalez. Back at LFA 87, Rice Logan earned a hard-fought decision victory over Jacob Rosales to capture the vacant lightweight strap. On August 28th, two top 155-pound contenders will battle at LFA 89, the winner earning themselves a possible future lightweight title shot. Longview, Texas product in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt Grant Killer B. Moore goes for his sixth straight win when he faces the Ultimate Fighter Season 27 alumni Joe Giannetti, who will be making his LFA debut with a lot on the line. Both fighters spoke about the matchup and career-changing opportunity. His Jiu-Jitsu is really, really good. I mean, you don't just get a black belt, um, but I think that it's more sport-based, and I'm Honestly, sport-based jiu-jitsu, I'd probably get crushed by a lot of guys that I've even beaten in fights. But fighting is just different. It's mixed martial arts. you got to mix different techniques in. And I think I do that really well. So I'm excited to actually get on the mat with Brand and test my jiu-jitsu because I think I'm going to pass with flying colors. I get a, I get a lot of shine on my uh, jiu-jitsu black belt, you know. And my, I have a lot of submission victories. Um, and uh, But the thing that people always uh, forget is that I've been striking – all my life, three to 12 karate and then 15 till now in boxing. So I, I've been striking, uh, I've been striking all my life. I just, it's, I'm just really good at jujitsu. So it, it, it shines through in that way. Another week and another contender series card stacked with LFA alumni. A total of five former LFA stars were in action with two more earning a UFC contract from the big boss Dana White, including Cheyenne Bays, who scored a dominant unanimous decision win, and Josh Parisian, who stopped fellow LFA standout Chad Johnson via first round TKO. LFA alumni have now received five UFC contracts through the first three weeks of the Contender Series 2020. And at UFC 252, LFA alumni Kai Kamaka III and Tony Kelly made their UFC debut against each other. Both ended up earning a $50,000 bonus for Fight of the Night, but it was Kamaka defeating Kelly just two weeks after winning at LFA 87. Phase two of the Legacy Fighting Alliance kicks off this Friday with LFA number 88 as the promotion begins another stretch of four straight weeks of events from Sioux Falls, South Dakota and airing live on UFC Fight Pass. Visit UFCFightPass.com to subscribe and never miss an LFA show. And for the latest news, interviews, and fighter features, follow the LFA on social media at LFA Fighters.